It's time for another two minute tip and today we're talking about drums. Now, if you don't know the premise of this series, it is to get a sound or learn how to do something in two minutes. Now, specifically, we're gonna be focusing on the snare drum and I'm gonna be bringing in my friend, Nate, who runs the Instagram page, Official Snare Geek. It's an awesome page, just all snare drum. Everything snare drum, if you're a drummer, you're gonna love the page. All right, I've been talking way too long. Nate, take it away. All right, so Nate is here. He is the champion at knowing everything about how to get drum sounds. I want to get the drum sound from My Chemical Romance's Black Parade record, specifically from the song, oh, I'm gonna turn that up, uh, take two. <laughs> Here's the limitations. We need to do this in two minutes. Right. I want your opinion on which snare I should pick, and then we'll listen to what it sounds like now. Sure. I want you to tell me what I should do to the snare to get it in that ballpark. Right. This is the sound that I want to get. When I initially heard that sound, my mind automatically went to a super dry, cranked sound. I'm thinking aluminum. I love aluminum. I have a couple of aluminum drums. And by far, also this is a great tech tip, by the way. Another video. Yeah, I really think this could this could work. It can be very interesting. All right, so I guess I gotta just put it down and hear it first. All right, well, um, we first hit it. According to the sound that we just heard, the wires are a little loose, so I'll at least go to there first. We're actually pretty close, surprisingly, to like what we're looking for. That already sounds a little bit better. I like this, like I, I like where it's at, but I probably want to take a little bit out of there because I feel like it's a little too aggressive. Okay. So we're probably gonna detune it just a tad. Cause it's still, you want that attack, you want this, you want the responsiveness from the wires. So you probably just want to tune this down just a tad and maybe get a little bit of beat. I'm actually gonna take this piece of paper. Perfect. Completely open the piece of paper up. Take some spots. Really holding it down. Now sometimes wires don't seem to want to control themselves really well. So you actually, I, I tend to look at like this area here where the snare bed is yeah. and actually tighten that up because then I'll allow the snare wires to, to really sit closely to the head. I think that might be it right there. God. So that's, I'm going up now a little bit because I'm realizing with the tape on it, yeah. it's a little bit too beefy. Yeah. Close to what I, I remember here for the, that one time. Yeah, yeah. We only heard it once. I don't know if you're still familiar. Yeah, let's yeah. let's reference it again. Heck yeah, dude! Thank you so much. Dude, no problem. All right, so we didn't make it in the two minute time limit, but I we got pretty freaking close, and I got to hand it to Nate. I only played him that little 10 seconds of that song one time and we just ran with it. We literally tried to do the whole thing in, t in two minutes. I never thought he was gonna pick the aluminum snare. Amazed with how it turned out. Let me know what you think down in the comments for this. By the way, I have links to pretty much all of the drum stuff on this setup down in the description. I think when you're working in the studio and you're trying to throw together songs and you wanna get the right drum sound, having the right drum, at your disposal is huge. So even just having a few snare drums makes all the difference. Again, I have links to all of those down in the description if you want to check them out, as well as cymbals, hardware, and all that other stuff. Thank you, Sweetwater, for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna know a little bit more of the details on what exactly we used, Nate's gonna show you right now. By the way, this was like, you did very little. Very little, and then we listened, what, we started off listening to the song, one, literally like one listen. Yep. With like 20 seconds maybe. Yep. And then we got to this, and then, yeah, this is. Let's see, what head's on there? So, the head that's on here right now is a Code Zero. Code's version of like a controlled sound. So okay. you have a single ply 10 mil head with a dot underneath. Uh, the bottom, I think, is... It might just be a... Might just be an ambassador, I think. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me tell it. Yep, ambassador snare side. Boom. And this yeah. is the aluminum 1909 snare. 1909 snare from WFL3. That's yep. right, yep. 
So, piece of paper. There was already some little bit of tape on there. Yeah, there was. It was tuned up fairly close. Yeah, it was like I hit it and I was like, oh, this is pretty freaking close to what I was thinking about. Well, that is yeah. awesome, man. All right. So I'll put a link to a piece of paper if you want to buy a piece of paper down in the description and uh, go follow Nate on his YouTube channel and on Instagram. Uh, Testa Beat Drums on YouTube. What, what is it? Testa Beat Drums. Testa Beat Drums on YouTube. And and on uh, other platforms as well, but a lot of people know me from a Instagram page called Official Snare Geek. Cool. Thank you for doing this, man. No problem this at all. This was fun. See ya.